The Milky Way, our galaxy, is in a loose group of galaxies that we call the local group. And there are three big galaxies in the local group. There's the Milky Way, and there's the Andromeda galaxy, also called M31. M31 Andromeda is about as big as the Milky Way. Each contains more than 100 billion stars. And then there's a somewhat smaller galaxy, also a spiral galaxy like the Milky Way and like Andromeda that we call M33. These three galaxies are bound together around a common center. And there's a lot of smaller galaxies. Uh, the big galaxies tend to have smaller satellite galaxies, kind of like the sun has planets around it. The Milky Way has the Magellanic Clouds, which are two much smaller galaxies, but those are only visible from the Southern Hemisphere. You have to get down to Australia or South America to be able to see the Magellanic Clouds. The Andromeda Galaxy has smaller galaxies around it as well, as does M33. And so we're all together in this volume of the universe that we call the local group. We don't really quite know how groups form. We think the dark matter condenses into filaments and the normal matter falls and follows these filaments. And in the dense parts of the dark matter filaments, normal matter then condenses into galaxies. One thing that is clear is that the process of growth and evolution of galaxies like the Milky Way is an ongoing one. Even now, the Milky Way is eating some of its smaller neighbors that got a little too close. We can see these stretched out streams of stars across the sky where a smaller galaxy has plunged into the Milky Way and is shedding stars. That happens all the time. We see the same thing with the Andromeda Galaxy. And so the local group, to some extent, is a kind of a messy system. There are also smaller galaxies, maybe 10% the mass of the Milky Way or Andromeda, or 1% the mass, that are in their own kind of orbits around space. And so we have things pinwheeling around. We have the big galaxies with their smaller galaxies devouring them. It's a very dynamic system. And what we'd like to know is, how did this come to be? What's the origin of the local group and of the galaxies within it? And what's their fate? What is the local group going to look like uh, 100 million years from now, a billion years from now?